tight end. Tony O'Brown of my Pittsburgh Steelers joining us on the program. I'm curious, you know, you got all those weapons with Roethlisberger. Who is the fastest receiver on the Steelers right now? Uh, we got a lot of guys that can run, man. We talk about it all the time. But, um, man, it depends on what's the distance and uh, what's the race. All right, let's say we went 40 yards. Who's winning? Man, that's a good question. But, um, no, it, it, it'll be a great race, man. We got some fast guys. <laughs> Uh, such as myself, uh, Marcus Whedon, uh, Darius Haywood Bay. You got um, Matthias Bryant. Man, that'd be a good race. Um, man, there's some fast guys. And I, I probably have to take myself in the 40 yard dash. But you guys haven't run against each other? Not really, man. We discuss it all the time uh, who will race, win in the race. You know, we, we're so competitive. Uh, we compete with each other uh, in everything we do. So uh, we we always talk about it. That's always topic of discussion in the midst of us getting dinner or spending time together in the meeting room. All right. How angry is Coach Tomlin when you're down 27 to 10 to the Broncos? Well, he's never been a break, man. He's a guy who continues to keep his composure, uh, continue to uh, fight to the finish, and uh, he continues to smile in the face of adversity, uh, something he always preach. And uh, he rides us together in the locker room halftime. And uh, we knew we had to fight to finish. So you're not surprised that you guys came back from 17 down against Denver? Not surprised, man. We know every game we play is going to be a fight to the finish. Uh, we can't uh, give up or give in. We got to continue to push no matter what the, what the score says until the end of the fourth quarter until the game is over. Uh, have you have an opinion? Uh, have you been asked about uh, the Josh Norman Odell Beckham Jr. fight? Confrontation? What'd you make of that? Um, just um, you know, Odell can't get caught up in, in um, you know, the, the individual matchup. Uh, he's a great player. I think he just stay focused, man, and play his game. Obviously, he's a big um, necessity for their team, and uh, the team is not the same without him out there. So, uh, I think he just got to keep composure and uh, just continue to show. Uh, he could be the best in the league and uh, focus on playing football. DBs try to do that to you? Absolutely. I mean, uh, as a defender, man, you, uh, they try to get in your head, uh, do extra stuff, pushing you late. Uh, but you got to be able to keep your composure. It's a football game, and uh, God's going to do whatever they, they tend to do to get you out of the game or uh, try to get you frustrated so you cannot play your game. And in the midst of that, uh, you got to be strong and know what's important. Uh, it's just playing football and being your best for your teammates. Yeah, but do you ever get that point where you want to take matters into your own hands? Like you want to fight the guy? <clears throat> but no, nah, it's never personal, man. It, it's a football game. Uh, it's not a wrestling match. I think uh, guys are highly professional. Uh, they respect each other. Uh, and um, it's, a, it, it's a football game. I mean, obviously it's competitiveness, and you get a little aggressive in the midst of being competitive. That end of the day, it's a football game. And uh, we all respect each other uh, in the midst of playing football because we know the process of what we all have to go through. He's Antonio Brown, the Steelers' wide receiver. They got the Ravens coming up. He's got 116 catches on the season so far. I know you're uh, here with uh, Old Spice. What are you doing with Old Spice? Well, I'm part of a special Old Spice football fraternity that's open to any NFL fan. You know, I've been a fan of Old Spice for a long time. My favorite Old Spice spray is the Timber. And no matter what scent guys prefer, Old Spice has them covered. And you got to love Old Spice commercials with the guy, the, the strong guy with all the muscles. <laughs> it's always fun and amazing to see Old Spice commercials. Have you ever worn cologne during a game? Absolutely, man. You come to pregame, you got to smell good. <laughs> you got to have your Old Spice Timber, and you got to have bubble gum. You know, that's a must coming out to the field. You got to give off great energy, and it starts by how you smell and uh, what flavor of bubble gum you're chewing. Did you play with uh, JJ Watt at Central Michigan for a year? Absolutely. What? How was he? If he stayed at tight end, which I think he was recruited to be a tight end, how would would he have made the NFL as a tight end? I think so. Man, he took the game so serious. He was out there running routes every day, and he was a leader, man. He. he, he he gathered up all the freshmen, had us working out with him. Uh, man, he caught jugs, he ran routes, 
And, man, he had that same will and tenacity that he have now. He had it coming in as a 17, 18-year-old kid coming to college. How did they let him go from Central Michigan? Well, I think they wanted to move him to offensive line. And uh, <laughs> uh, coming from Central Michigan, we have a great offensive lineman by the name of Joe Staley. Yeah. And um, I, think, I think they wanted to make J.J. in the mode of that. And I didn't think he wanted to be that. Uh, so I think he transferred to Wisconsin. That was uh, originally where he was from. And uh, did some positive and great things there. And uh, you see where he's at today. Did you work out with The Rock in the off season? Absolutely. How how is that? Man, it's always intense, man. Motivational, inspirational. He's an inspiring guy uh, who works extremely hard, and uh, he has big muscles. Obviously, he got the people eyebrow. Obviously, he's the people champ, and uh, it, it's an honor to share the same gym with him and the train with him. Is he going to put you in a movie? Uh, maybe one day. Not now. Uh, I, did, I did a film with him called uh, Ballers. Yeah. Uh, HBO show. It was pretty awesome. Well, uh, congrats on the season so far, and uh, good luck with your Old Spice campaign. Thank you for joining us, Antonio. Thanks for having me.